last episode in the continued search for a good single ship fleet, we switched out the Mora for the Venture, an excellent exploration option for us so far. The Mora's fighter bays and forward mounts gave us pretty good offensive capabilities, something the Venture noticeably lacks. Uh, however, what the Venture lacks in fighting capability, it makes up for it with a decent burn level, uh, especially once you add the militarized subsystems. But even better is the cargo and fuel capacity that we had. For the first time, we got to do exploration, which has been a nice change of pace. Hey, all welcome back. This is your host, Neil. We're picking back up today with Star Sector. Uh, we have just picked up a little bit of supplies, and we're just moving to go ahead and drop off some... Uh, we're already maxed. Uh, of course, Glacial Academy. I thought I was recording, but it's only been like two or three ma minutes, maybe. Not long at all. So we're going to go ahead and pop in here. Nope, wrong one. Fantastic. We're not going to bother with any of those right now. We're going to go ahead and... What do you guys say? Is it Ancira? Ankira? Ankara? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure I've said it each of those ways in any of the playthroughs I've had. Why'd I do that? You know what? Sometimes... Okay, only 100,000. Sometimes it's worth looking at those. Usually they're pretty low. Anytime you're looking at somebody who's willing to give you... Uh, Nope. Um, military weapons, it's usually like $100,000, $50,000. If you can get it high, it's really nice to, to just be able to purchase a big bulk of uh, equipment. So for $100,000, you'd be able to purchase plenty of equipment. Let's... Let's do some exploring. Penelope Star is always a good one. Uh, let us load back up on just the bare minimum we needed. All right. Okie dokie. Crap. Why are the scavengers engaged? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. We're leaving. It is not my problem today. I've not been not been killing scavengers, so heaven only knows. Alright, let's take a look at Penelope system. It's usually the uh, easiest. Ah, 560. Come on now. Yeah, it's never anything. Okie dokie, artichokes. Let's head up this way. But we're going to swing by going across the uh, asteroid field. Just in case there's a mining platform or something we're gonna miss. We'll never be able sorry, we'll never be able to take advantage of a good mining platform because it would cost us too many points. Uh, to run back and forth. Buying fuel, buying supplies, putting it in orbit, if, especially if we uh we found enough that would make maybe even worthwhile, but we'd probably only break even if we were lucky. All right, nothing on that whole rim. Looks self, we need some more, more crew, less Marines. We don't really have a need for the Marines right now. We haven't used them once. 
All right, 560. Same thing, we'll kind of come out here just a little bit. And we will make our way south. I know it's not south, but down. Very cool. So anytime um, I've been on Reddit or the Fractal Softworks, um, forums. Everyone loves suggesting uh, Penelope Star System as the go-to uh, system for uh, first-time colonies. And it's it is pretty random, from my understanding, as far as the exact outcome. But it just never seems to be that good. I always seem to have tons of issues with it. Like there's no abundant source. Obviously, we just ran into one here of of resources, or there's um, there's too much hostility to it. I'd be curious, and I haven't checked across every run to see if it's almost always the same, or if it has a lot of variety. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I like this one. This one's bad, and of course, we've got poor light, extreme cold, tectonic plate activity. So, it's not the worst planet, but 200% hazard rating is not usually that great for your first colony. It will not promote growth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> None of these officers matter. We don't have a lot of exploration missions right now, do we? Interesting. We know what? Let's... Let's start them off. We should have plenty of fuel and supplies to make it down there at least. We're not going to be able to get everybody. Or maybe that's what we should do first. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and jump back over to... Are we at war with Tritachion? Yeah, we're at war with Tritachion. Hmm. It'd be funny to do the light path. Sure. Let's grab some extra crew first. 560 is what we've seen. I thought 500, but I guess it's 560. Of course, that could also be affected by surveying equipment. Oftentimes, when I start doing exploration, I am much further out. It, sorry, much further out into the cave. Whew. My apologies. Still letting the uh, coffee kick in. Let's just take this down to 425. Just in case. Still looking good everywhere else, though. Nope. Don't need you. Sorry, guys. Uh, nope. Wish it could. Yeah, I didn't think I had any contacts here, but I just wanted to double check. Of course, it would have been a lot faster to double check. Uh... Yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's start over here. Sorry, just double check by uh, using the Intel screen. Hey, you know what? Why we're here? We're going to go check on the Ludic Path. Uh, sometimes they have some pretty... On, pretty unusual items for sale. I 
think there are only those two. Let me double check it. Maybe we'll come up to Tia too. Yeah, let's do Chaladon. I'm pretty sure that's the one that's got these the scavengers just being a menace. <laughs> Alright, this could be extremely bad for us, or we would be able to slide in nice and easy. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, buying arms. 200,000 is not bad, but a 200% rate is not great. Sometimes they've just got some funky stuff for sale. We'll check on the... No, no, it's so it's small. See if we get lucky enough to hit both of them. Get out of here, you monsters. We really gotta keep an eye out here. Oof, they just got me. Let's see if we can't take, take out this buffalo first. One way or the other, you gotta turn. Oh, he's flying away. That's fine, we'll just claim victory. Should be able to just turn that back on and run. Boop. Wow, why'd I do that? Autopilot gonna do nothing. I guess so. All right, that was fun. So I guess that was a terrible idea. We'll just stick with our first one. How does that happen? We'll, don't, we'll never know. I mean, we know it was a bad choice to go check out the Lytic Path bases. 
but I just wanted to see what they had there. I'd really like to try the um, Atlas and Prometheus MK2s. One MK2, MK1. It doesn't look like we'll have a whole lot here. We need to sweep. If we're gonna do some exploration, it might be worth um, putting on the high range sensors too. The dock item, otherwise I would just do it now and just eat the supply cost. Hey, our first ruins. Cool. I might put together a list of all the ships that we've been trying and all the sh ships in vanilla that aren't uh, redacted or um, part of the remnant. I want to give the remnant a shot. My only concern with using the remnant ships is that I think you need the neural link to pilot them, which is fine. There's no issue with that. Somebody actually, I think, suggested a radium with neural link, which is a great idea. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not sure how we would be able to, to capture like a radium. I'm not even sure how we'd capture a brilliance um, with just one ship because they never come alone. Oh. Forgot to put on sustained burn. They're never alone, as far as I'm aware. Maybe I found a couple of small fleets, but usually they're they're absolute nightmares. Well, we'll get pretty close, but we'll try to stay away from the actual. Okay, nothing. There's usually something good in the uh, magnetic clouds. You got nothing? Okie dokie. We'll uh, do a click flyover. Fall in the rings. This would probably be a good time to have some volatiles. Just to do a double, you know, quick check. Let's definitely turn off that transponder too. You know what? What's our fuel range? What's our supply looking like? Two, two, two. Yeah, let's do these ones. Come on. Boop. Anyways, might put together a list of uh, all the ships we'll test. Any pros, any cons I thought of. Not that they're, they're guaranteed. They could be very subjective for most people. I'm not sure how I would share it. 100%. We've already been in here. So let's not worry too much about sweeping the system. We'll do a nice circle though. Don't ask me why I'm making the sound effects. It's just in my head. I think I'm still waiting for for the caffeine to really soak in. If I remember right, this was a buffalo that we were having a hard time getting close to. Mercury, yep, sorry. I'm not even going to try. It's just going to cost me supplies and it's going to cost me fuel to do an emergency burn.
darn. I mean, I'm not really disappointed. Remind me to dismiss that person right into space. Right in the corona, so let's just get out of it. Right. Dismissing people. Right into space. Adios! That's what we expect. Let's do a quick... Hushar... Okay, cargo pods. I thought I was going crazy for a second. That's really close to the side. Excellent. Follow this is what we were looking for, by the way. Okay. So everything it looks like about the direction we were expecting them to be. This doesn't look so bad. It's not so bad. Hey, we came to crew. Nice. Don't really need any more heavy machinery, but we can always drop heavy machinery. That I'm not worried about. Okay, doesn't look like anything by the sun. This doesn't look like the worst colony ever. Hey, that's what I like to see. Nope, not harpoon. Maybe it was hornet then. I'm thinking of proximity launch charger. Not that great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not not worry about them real for a little bit. I'm gonna save just to be safe. Great, great. We'll take the drugs. Drop that off. So they drop 13 supplies off. Not a big deal. Okay. I'm fine with that. Nothing too severe left. <laughs> we find much more like that, and we, uh. We'll have to start dropping more. Quick act to sensor burst, just to take anything out. Uh, from my understanding, I'm pretty sure each of these squares. It's like 500 units. <laughs> Somebody else might be able to correct me. But that's been my understanding. Alright. In fact, here. It's 1,000. I was wrong. 1,000. <laughs> Gosh darn. Ooh, and 
antimatter blasters. So there's the harpoon. Here's the. Wait. Oh, it's the uh, small version. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. It's not a bad planet either. We'll take a look at the uh, center here in just a second. It's probably the jump point. Maybe it's not the jump point, though. Ooh, hoo, hoo, a water world. I like water worlds. Take another Merv launcher. Hmm. Let's be dumb. Let's follow this. Sometimes an easy way to check to see if it's just a glitch. Let's just fly a different direction and see if it ever moves. Yeah. Yeah, we're not flying any further that way. I probably could have done that sooner. Look at our little venture. Good, good, good. Cargo pods, yep, from, from us earlier. Oh, hold on. Who are? Again, rather close, just in case. All right, nothing. We could do better on the loadout of our venture. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that's an obvious one. the sun to go fly around just in case oh too close surprised we didn't get any damage well, this fun little device tells us there's something out this way so we'll give it a second then we'll blast a Active sensor burst. For anyone in, so it's for 3,000. Should be at least basically getting a decent radius. <laughs> Obviously, not the uh, radius I just drew. <laughs> radius I just drew is terrible. Uh. Let's... Do we give it a shot? I say we give it a shot. We have plenty of fuel. That is one thing we are not running out of. Supplies? We could be doing better. We're going to keep a lookout for derelict ships. Debris clouds. That way we can start uh, trading back in if we need to. But we're also not to supply hungry. I mean, 0.7 is a lot, but for a cruiser, that's not terrible. And for a single ship, uh, I'm not comfortable with, with how this looks. 
Let's just catch a ride. Whee! I should probably be more, more concerned about where this stops. There we go. Oh, okay, we're gonna save this. Um, I generally still like to try to, to at least get into these systems. Although it's... <laughs> All right, here's our remnants. This is what we were talking about. All right. This is generally a really bad idea. We're never going to get close enough to do this. Especially with them patrolling. Actually, we might. What do you think? Do we do it? Or do we try, I should say? It just takes one active sensor burst for them to find us. So I think we skip that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Not fun. Not fun at all. Plenty of supplies. Back up on fuel. Let's take the heavy blaster. The Gauss rifle. I don't know why I grabbed that. And the ion pulser. That was easy. All right. Let's get to the debris field over here. Static, which is good. Mining station. Sorry, mining station. Ooh. <gasps> we got it. Um, so, here, I'll just read it for you. Miniaturized wormhole interfaces, which can be tapped into a nearby coronal shunt, providing a colony with virtually unlimited power. Operation requires industrial quantities of transatomic ores, which are at first used to open the wormhole, and then once the power draw itself is sustained, uh, comes primarily from the wormhole stability. Any interruption of uh, supply requires a shutdown. Increases the maximum number of industries of columbia one uh, in a demand of 10 transplant transplutonic uh, is fully melt. I can't talk. You read it. I mostly read it. Um, we haven't seen the, uh, the coronal shunt yet. I think in maybe 20 playthroughs I've actually found the hyper shunt. Like... twice. It's really nice to see it this time. Hold on. Let's just learn all these real quick. I'm just surprised I found it at all, is, is the big thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, always double check. Phase anchor. Ah, yes. We have 100 needed of the phase anchor to try any real phase um, strategy. All right, let's try looking around the sun. I think we are out of time. I think this is all we're going to get done. Let's do something re... no. Okay. We're gonna do the only thing that makes sense. Which is the exit and come right back in. Oh, also, let's definitely save. I just don't feel like doing this slow spot all over again. Hey, hey, hey. don't you come over here. All right. So if we're really unlucky, these are all those great ships that we really want.
You can bait them away. However, I'm not sure we are fast enough. I just want to see what they are. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. <sighs> okay, hold on. No, I don't think it's worth trying to get this. Maintenance-wise, I think it's too much. Are you kidding? No. You know what? We have a save. I just want to show you guys the absolute monstrosities that these are. For anyone who has, has not seen uh, the redacted at work, Oh, they're not even going to get it in. So these beams aren't terrible. I mean, they'll tear us up. It'll take some time, but they'll tear us up. They didn't even... They didn't even put out their... Their radiant. <laughs> it was such a non-issue for them. <laughs> That's too funny. It was such a non-issue for them. They were like, yeah, let's not do it. Like, why bother? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, the one ship is, is almost guaranteed to attack us. Hmm. <laughs> do his turn, get my annihilators on you. Which are terrible, apparently. Yeah, I think the annihilators are the wrong choice. I think we've always known that. But, uh... I think it's just that much more obvious. You know, I'm curious. Hold on. So here's our ship. We're gonna come over this way just a little bit. Oh, too far. Way too far. Okay. I was just checking to see how we, we kind of look on the grid. You're next. For anyone who's ever used the, uh, can't even think of its name, neutrino detector, and been extremely frustrated by chasing down those false leads, there is a mod that um, adds on to the neutrino detector, so when you turn it on, it'll give you information about everything there. It doesn't give you the exact location, and simply just tells you, um, oh, wrong one simply just tells you that there's you know an orbital station or uh, you know a derelict legion 
just chilling around. It's not a bad planet. I certainly don't want it. I'm waiting for that luck path to come through. Lot of fuel. Feel bad I can't take more of it. That another redacted ping. That's where we just came from more. Yeah, it was the dram. I swear we just saw a redacted ping down here. Yeah, don't pay attention to my bad driving. We're doing a save before this one. It's not even worth fighting. We're not too concerned about fuel. First gas giant we've been able to really look at. This is probably surrounded. We can get close enough. We can do some trading. No, we're not going to get close enough. They look like they're just doing a straight up orbit. Alright. Well. Let's bring her back in or actually do we have any exploration out here still yeah I think we already got that <laughs> Go. to see that not a big surprise all right let's unload and since we are not necessarily looking at setting up a um, pull on to the volatiles sorry setting up a base we'll do the we'll sell the coronal tap too Please don't tell me they're going to try to... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Friendly. Nice little bump. 
Eh, perdition, hold on. No, we're good. The rest will keep. Let's take this down to like 25. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious if this would be a good choice. I think the fuel would be your biggest issue. You know, let's take the Afflictor. Uh, wait, is, I can't remember. Is the Afflictor only pirate? Yeah, I'd rather get the regular Afflictor. Do they have one? Okay, that's fine. I thought for sure they were going to send an inspection fleet after me for se selling 25 <laughs> recreational units of drugs and ignoring the other like $250,000 worth of open market I did. Uh, no, sorry. Oh, do we have a contact here? No. See, that would have been a better, better way to do it earlier. Wow, you are a terrible, terrible planet. Holy crap. You're really bad. We are really fast. I take it back, everything I said earlier. You know, I'd love to do this, but we just don't have the sort of fighting capability that it requires. I don't even think we could make that in one trip with our onslaught. Here, let's do this. We're going to have some fun. We're going to save. We're going to take that mission. No, absolutely not. Look how close we are. That's why we're taking this mission. It's the only reason. I don't want these legions. This would be a much better onslaught than the one we have. I don't want these legions, but I do do want to try a legion. I think it's probably going to be one of our better options. I don't think there's anything wrong with... Um, hold on. Income. Where do we have storage? There's the Mora. That's the onslaught. All right, so we're going to hit up here first, and then we're going to head over to grab the Onslaught. But anyways, what was I saying? Um, I, I think the Legion has the best chances of, of being a good single ship fleet. It's not, not going to go the farthest. It'll certainly be able to travel anywhere you need in the core systems. I think that is going to be beneficial. I mean, most space ships can't even take that much credit. Um, four fighter wings is incredible. Astral's the only thing that beats it with six, or anything that has more uh, with six. But it's got a ton of forward firepower. I wish it had more flanking firepower. I think the Griffin would be a good choice. Do we have a Griffin? No. Well, we're going to buy a griffin. And we're going to throw a griffin in storage later. I think a griffin would be a good choice. We have a sunder, right? Yeah, we have a sunder. Okay, anyways, the reason we're here. Um, pick up our weapons. Honestly, I don't remember what an onslaught has. check out Quaddle too. We should really take a quick look at some of the work. <gasps> Battle carrier. Yeah. Um, we'll take it. <laughs> Maybe we'll try the Legion. Holy crap. 
How did this happen? I don't know how this happened. Guess that's one reason to always be looking, though. Sorry, bud. Nope. Alright. Same game plan still. We're gonna mothball this real quick, though. We're just gonna do a quick fly. Come on. I don't know how that worked out so well. If we have enough money, we can probably just remove that D mod too. No issues. I don't think compromised armor is the most expensive of them. I know it's one of them. I'm pretty sure it's that guy. But, I thought I had two out here. Yeah. And if we remember why, it's because we're going to scuttle it. Anything here I see that we're going to probably want on our legion. Not right off the bat. Okay. Now we have to decide if we want the Legion or if we want the Onslaught. That's really the big choice now. Let's take a look at their logistics. Their fuel, uh, cargo, their burn, and their maintenance levels, and we'll make our decision based off that. We have a pretty far way to go. First and foremost, we know for sure we are taking this off. I think I would do this differently next time. Put you in storage. And take you out of storage. Alright, let's take a quick look. Okay, we only have point defense for some reason. Alright, 40, 450, 450, 15. 40, 450, 615. The onslaught just won. Hold on, top speed 23. <laughs> None of these speeds are good. What are we talking about? I just had to double check. <laughs> oh man, so we've got to make our decision. They're both 7, right? For burn levels, 7. Seven. Yeah. Max crew is incredible on both of them. These are the sort of ships we'd have to take to uh, colonize something. Well, actually, it wouldn't work. We would need more cargo space, I think. Sensor 150, 150, 150. Yeah. Hmm. We've been looking for a legion for a while. But I think the onslaught's probably the better option because of the fuel capacity. Oh, I feel bad if I choose the onslaught, especially if I screw it up. Okay, hold on. To technically make the mission successful, we have exactly one requirement, it's to do one one it's kill one person that's all we have to do to make that technically completed mm -hmm. I feel like we need auxiliary thrusters probably unstable injector too I just can't imagine us doing much without either of those wow there are no weapons here Really? This is terrible.
anyways, let's just bring this up to 1200 for no better reason than we can. energy slots or I don't think there's any large missiles this will just pull right out of it if we need to Another thing we're almost guaranteed going to want is flux distributors and max. Not necessarily going to have to do it, but yeah, no, no large missile spot. That's right. I don't know why. I feel like infinite missiles is probably a better idea for this. Although, you put some Reapers on there, and some ships just stop being a problem altogether pretty quick. Alright, medium ballistic spots, we're just not going to bother filling yet. In fact, the large ballistic spots suck too, because they don't have anything. So maybe the only thing we're going to fill is small. Got plenty of point defense. The question is, point defense can be the right option. Especially small point defense. Be interesting to put some devastators on there. Alright. Let's head back over to Quaddle. One point one's not terrible. 12 isn't bad either. Uh, 12 for the, the burn. Okay. This is a little better, but goodness gracious. What happened to these places? entirely. I feel like the heavy mauler could be a good choice. My goodness, just look at that. Flux usage is already incredible. Hold on. It's a little better. It's not that much better, though. Alright, another issue is that is also just terrible. Okay, let's see. I do like the little onslaught, though. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
I don't know why it amuses me so much to see like your unit on the big map. Um, like Mountain Blade does that too, where you get your little unit like running around. Um, I think this is far more detailed than, especially Warband, but Mountain Blade Bannerlord. It's been a while since I've, I've played it since the official release. In fact, I don't know if I've played it since the official release, but they do it too, and it just cracks me up every time. Um, you know, I'm a little disappointed. I wanted to see more point defense in the world. One, two, three, four, six more spots to fill. Jeez. You know, I'm really tempted to put Devastator Cannons on this. It is quite a sight to see. Don't ask me why. I just want to put something in there before we we go to the next place and it's got even worse options. I'd love to get some heavy maulers back here. That would be incredible. All right, so here's the thing. If we build in the auxiliary thrusters and the unstable injectors, we get 50 points back. is a ton. We too. <laughs> Extra cargo hold, <laughs> additional fuel tanks, and make this quite an explorer. It would still be almost useless because, uh, I mean, come on. Hold on, it gets one spot. I'm just doing this for curiosity. It only gets one spot. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> No Vulcans. What? Oh, that's not what I wanted anyways. I think stabilized shield is a good choice. Let's just take a, a quick look at this monstrosity on a simulation and see if we've created something that'll never be viable. Uh, let's do Dominator, a Condor, a Mule, and a host of other like little things. All right, so this is our thermal pulse. That's looking pretty good. Sound manners and pelums. It's looking pretty good. In fact, put that on auto. Here's the storm needler. Thumpers in the back, everything in the front. 
Devastator cannons on the side. And then our flak and point defense. Pairs done. Fantastic. Wasn't quite pointed the way I wanted to. But it'll be good. I think the rail guns are inefficient. The thumpers aren't bad. I'm always a fan of thumpers though, so it's kind of unfair of me to say. By golly, we killed it! they cost 150 can we find anything that's kind of similar a salt gun wouldn't be bad especially for the armor be a little cheaper too uh 
I like the Thumbers especially because they're fast turn rate, which of course you guys just made that much faster by advanced turn gyro. I feel like we could do something better here. My issue is, uh, I would really like to have the heavy auto cannon, and they don't have any. So, we're kind of stuck with what we got right there. And I'm surprised they have no, no Vulcan cannons here. We got fragmentation, we've got explosive, we've got anti shield. And of course, we have energy, which is kind of a good, good medium. I don't hate this. I think this would work. All right. Well, do we take any capacity away? For one more. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the horrible monstrosity we've created. Um, I really appreciate everybody joining us today. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe below. Um, and don't forget to comment your thoughts, especially on what sort of horrible choice this has been. Uh, next time, we're actually going to go ahead and pick up um, doing that bounty, see if we can't get the last bit of... Ooh, Paragon would be a great one. Why have I not thought of the Paragon? Um, why have I not thought of the Paragon? We'll come back to it. But anyways, next time we'll pick up doing some bounties. Uh, I, I do want to say, I think the Venture... And I hope everybody else agrees, has been so far the most successful ship that we've had. Uh, it has excellent cargo capacity. It doesn't have that bad of a uh, burn level, especially with the uh, skills. Um, it has excellent fuel range. With the e efficiency overhaul, we could quite literally go across the map twice without running out of fuel. Um, it's got okay combat capability. It's really saving grace as those mining pods. Uh, I mean, I just prefer regular point defense, but they're able to do good amount of damage to incoming missiles and fighters. Uh, and the, the three medium turrets with uh, the four missile missile mounts, two medium, two small, are really nice. It can take out most smaller fleets, uh, but as we've seen here entirely, most larger fleets are just going to wipe this out just just by pure numbers. It's, it's not even... I mean, even a Paragon... Unless maybe you equipped it like some sort of savage with only point defense, uh, is probably still gonna fall to frigates and fighters. Uh, just, just I mean, even if they had twenty, I mean, thirty frigates, and fighters, they, or, or you know, cruisers with with fighters or destroyers with fighters like condors, they'd probably still destroy you just just by overwhelming your shields uh, and being able to to get out of your way of the big guns. But anyways, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I really appreciate you guys' time. I think the venture has been the most successful yet. Uh, but we'll see how the onslaught does here uh, with a little bit of bounty hunting next time. Uh, until then, you have a good one.